is the one that can never fail you. I'm telling you, skill. Me, when I went to Abuja as a copper, I was one of the people the FTC gave awards to. I was one of the best performing core members. Can I shock you? I don't have a job. But the ability to create is what can take you to the next level. What skills did I learn? Cinematography. I started, I, I, I've, I've grown over the ranks. I'm a scriptwriter. I'm a cinematographer. Now I'm at the edit. I'm a director. But my core main area of concentration is directing and producing. But that does not mean you should not have an idea of the end of But you need to have a place where you call your major. It needs to be a, an area of specialization. We'll be saying, I can any day with a week you up from sleep. I came now, I came, I came, we, we came here on Saturday. On Sunday, we shot a short film. That I have been edited, and it's online. It's not rocket science, it's, it's done like it's part of us. So you need to study, you need to, you need to grow, you need to, you need to learn, you need to understand what is happening, what are the new things. Cameras are coming every day, well, they confuse us. You go buy uh, red today, tomorrow they send a yellow. If I do it, it doesn't confuse us. So all you need to know is just understand the dynamics of what you're doing. What format are you shooting for? If you must use camera format to shoot, you should ask yourself some fundamental questions. Where is the end product of this work? If, for instance, your film is not going on cinema, why are you shooting 4K? How many of you have heard the word 4K before? Yeah. It's not going to cinema, you need to shoot 4K. 4K is how large the, the, the resolution is going to be. Yeah. They're compressing it to online. Before they go shoot 4K, you shoot 4K now. You cannot put it on your, on, 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 on your phone. You can't even put it on your laptop. It's, you, you only need very special software to edit 4K. So are you kidding yourself with that? There are some phones that now shoot 4K. Phones. So it's not about the, the kind of camera I want to. No. The fundamental thing is what message are you trying to pass? How are you going to pass this your message? Talk about this is just a piece of tool. You can give somebody this camera that cannot set it, and I use my phone, and I get a better picture than you. Hello? Uh, so it's actually not about the format. Please, you need to spend time to learn, spend time to understudy people. Ask me now, who is your mentor? You mentioned somebody you've never met in your entire life and you might not even meet. Okay, how many of your mentor's books have you read? Get people who are close to you, who you can have access to ask questions. I used to be like that. I used to think mentors, who is your mentor? Oh, James Cameron. Have you seen James Cameron before? No. Okay, I only watch his films. No. Now someone very close to you. That's the informal education we're talking about. In Hollywood, where I belong to, a lot of directors, I'm the chairman of the Directors Guild, Abuja Chapter. A lot of directors didn't even didn't go to school. Some people even learned how to speak English through Nollywood. I know of a lot of directors in Asaba. They learned how to speak English through Nollywood. But guess what? They started as PAs. How many of you have done a production set before? Let me say another. Production set. One, two, three. Okay. How about five more? Now, a PA is the least in the cadre of filmmaking. Is that okay? The least. Their work. Now, as we come yeah. here now, they come and set this place and yeah. uh, yeah. run errands. Yeah. But guess what? So they were able to grow from PA over years to become directors. Somebody told me of a PA who used to serve him few years ago, but right now, that same PA is not a director and tells him, do this, do not do this. Mm. 2001, when I went to Lagos for my industrial attachment, I did my IT with Teko Benson. How many of you know Teko Benson? Teko Benson, the action film director. That's my mentor. Director of the market. You know him very well. I did my IT with him. There's an actor called Tony Goodman, tall, huge, he's in Abuja right now. On that set, 
I was working as an assistant to Teko. And I was serving the same Tony Goodman. Tony Goodman stays in Abuja and calls me, Director, how far? Anything for your boy. He's somebody that I saved a few years ago. I was pretending to be an assistant director to a Chinese director who came to shoot in Calabar. That was something like 2009. My work was taught AD, and as taught AD, I was in charge of props. So my boys that I was training were acting in that set. So as a props man now, I'm going to hold this water for them. When they need the water, I'll bring it for them. So they were very uncomfortable. Ah, deep, but now you don't pass. I said, no, they need to pass this thing. I want to grow my CV. What I learned from the Nigerian directors I'm working with is different from what I'm going to be learning from this Chinese director. At that point you're learning, the least thing that should be on your mind is how much you're going to make. See, since we're not paying off dues, don't ever be tired. Pay the dues until you get to a point where that dues will be paid. I just said now, if my Oga, any of my Oga call me, speed by the day go. I, I just finished a job with Lance Lord, the How many of you know Lance Lord now? It's from Benin. I used to come and teach in Benin from Academy. Yes, really? Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, we just finished a movie in Abuja. We did a movie with autistic children. You know, they were part of the film. What would happen in the film? He was just trying to introduce me to them. I was like, Okay, this is a man. The way man will be working on this job, you think he's just a learning director, or this is someone who has done a couple of big films. You cannot be bigger than your master. The day you begin to think or imagine that you're bigger than your master, forget that you start dying. How many of you have read 47 Laws of Power? You only remain relevant if you see your guy. It's never a shine your master. No, oh, you crazy. <laughs> Don't. Even when you know, you know it. Mm. You get will take past the word given. You don't even feel mm. bad. If I'm on set, I'm working with Lance Lord Rider on set, I do 80% of the work. But this is the same me that there was a time I carry scripts and walk around begging directors, director, please now, just look out that. I want to with that. But when they beg, Right now, we reject scripts. Time and chance happen to everyone. It's just for you to be sensitive in your spirit. The time where you're supposed to sow, the time where you're supposed to understand this volunteer thing when I come, we come for now. He may have never had it. I could have jumped at it. Do you know how international organizations are employed? It's through volunteering. If they had the village just open um, employment, it's more of an internal structure thing. So you would have the opportunity now, please make good use of it. So we're talking about harnessing, harness study. Thank God for YouTube these days. You can virtually do anything, even how to impregnate your wife. Somebody said, you're there running up and down, going from church to church, not knowing that your solution is in YouTube. Mm -hmm. I thought that thing, it didn't make me think, 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 think. But guess what? YouTube is someone's invention. What have you invented? We need to harness our skills our talent, our creativity, for you to now become relevant. Stop struggling where you're not supposed to be. Discover yourself, harness yourself. That's all you need. And the third one is marketability. How marketable? You call yourself 
a musician. How many of you sing here? If you sing, let me see your hand. You sing. If I ask you to send any of your songs to me on phone now, 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 do you have it? Yeah. Beautiful. How many of you are dancers here? Dancer, dancer. Can I have any of your dance videos? No be tracking now. Yeah. Can I have any of your dance video now? Can you send it to my phone now? Yeah. Can you send me a dance video of yours now? Yeah. Okay. That is where marketing comes to play. A girl came to bid for a job while we were shooting a movie in Kalama, uh, in Abuja two months ago. She's a makeup artist. She has made up like 10 different jobs, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, fine. Can we see any makeup you've done in a movie? My brother. She was there for the next 10 minutes, scrolling her phone. I was shocked. I was perplexed. I was bemused. <laughs> and after we've convinced the person that would employ her, she could not provide one. After you've been able, you've got that opportunity, you may have you to ask me now. Say make I send you what I don't do. Your phone will fool. Voila. If all I need to do is just to forward my YouTube link to you. Help? What can my page give you? They will break. You need to be prepared at all times. It's not when they come and ask you. You come with the wrong hair casket. I'm looking for a laptop. Look, no. Arm yourself. How many of you came to this place and you came with the proposal in case they say, okay, they want to do. Um, I want to come and pitch a project. I want to give you the proposal. Like the preparedness we're talking about. Give it to me tomorrow. You need to always be prepared. I say, see, opportunity comes anytime. On my laptop, I have more than five scripts right now. With budget. I will say, maybe I one time, and I say, hey, Ima, tell your story you told me. As you did, drop the call, the thing will enter. Prepare yourself to be a marketable brand or project. We're talking about the Africa we want. What kind of Africa do we want as performance? Do you know that for Africa to really get to that, the global we're talking about, the movie industry, the entertainment industry has a very important role to play. I, was, I went to Gambia some few years ago. I went to Gambia. Ha! Ah, director, how now? Port of Igwe. Outside the country, they feel every big man in Nigeria is Igwe because of our movies. They think every prince, princess, walks and they pour flour on the floor. Princess also went somewhere, they almost stoned her to death. Because of her movies. How many of you know Sylvester Madu here? Yeah. The Rambo of Asaba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that guy does not take alcohol? That guy does not smoke cigarette. Mm -hmm. But if you see Sylvester for a movie, film has a film is a very, very powerful tool. But the unfortunate thing that even our own government does not even still understand the efficacy of film into changing the narrative of Nigeria. Yes, sir. Our government does not understand. Why do you think Nollywood is struggling? Nollywood started from an individual's point of view, not a deliberate effort that the government has made. Kenneth, before now, they are already making films, especially in Yoruba land. They were making films. But they didn't really get that attraction, another feel, until living in bondage. When Kenneth in the boy, Kenneth in the boy, they sells electronics in Iweka Road. Before living in one day, Iweka was just there. He had some VHS tapes he needed to sell. He now decided to do that film, Living in Bondage, that caused a revolution. It was after living. Then in, in Nigeria, if film come out today, part two, we'll wait for like next year or two years' time. 
Maintenant, en plus, il n'y a pas pour moi qu'est-ce que tu veux. So, Kenneth now did that thing to sell his tapes. And everybody now entered into it. Government formed Nigerian Film Corporation. Government formed National Video Code of... What's the name? No name. Abelino. Government formed National Film Corporation. Government formed the censors, but for all of them, what efforts have they made to change the narrative of Nigeria? Nothing. We still struggle. 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 But now, I want to change Africa. I want to change the perception of they want to change how people see us. Even our language is a problem. You can start by making language movies. Your own language film. They will watch it. Do, do not ever think nobody's going to watch it. They will watch it. Because film does not understand English. Film does not understand Yoruba. Film does not understand Igbo. What film understands is the story. Before now, all of us, they watch Indian film. They watch Chinese movies. We thought they thought. But we don't want them to the end. So ladies now they speak Z uh, India because of Zero. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful film is. So when we go back, let us, if I ask um, bro, son of you, sir, son of, where are you from? <laughs> Sing any uh, a little local musical. <laughs> no church song. <laughs> That's church song. I don't want church song. Don't sing church song for me. Okay, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Where are you from, sir? On the sing any Yoruba dance, not church song, any Yoruba music. Sing any Yoruba music for me, any Yoruba song, cultural song. In the top, I sing in the top. Oka, sing for me. I'm just talking that. No, 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 now, what am I saying in essence? These things we are gradually forgetting all of them. And this is what when people come to your villages they want to hear. Before now, all of us, now let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that untouchable like LA and next. The track hits your ear drum like the sun in your chest. <laughs> Whose song is that? <laughs> <laughs> but right now. <laughs> Even then, they are also coming to collect from us. We have so much, but we don't even believe ourselves. When I went to the US, global will go, the Nigerian music, then bust you come back. Even in the way stories are being told, haven't you seen that the dynamics have changed? Yeah. Hollywood now has exhausted all their stories. They now come to Nigeria. Now come to Africa to borrow stories. And we will get the stories here. We don't want to tell our own stories. What's the difference between Thor and Shongo? Hello? How can why can't we do Shongo into an animation for kids? Stories! Yeah. Story, as in, stories. stories! I wrote a script, Legacy of the Gods. I wrote that script 10 years ago. When I went to the US in 2014, I shot one scene of it. Mr. 
Mr. King that's the name. Ten years ago, I did the story like this. I started procrastinating, procrastinating. Until when I saw Black Panther. Mm -hmm. The story is similar to Black Panther. <laughs> if I bring out my story on the reverse, you can copy it. Mm -hmm. But I wrote that script ten years ago. Can we watch it? Sure. So, whatever God drops it in your spirit, do it with it. Don't procrastination, do it. Because as in they put in my sister, they give you, they give you, they give you, they give you. My first is when they give the user. There are a thousand and one ideas God has been depositing in all of us. That's the development we're talking about. That's the, how the, that's the way Africa come about. You go to eat one chop and a yam or apple. I, in my village, God damn it. Mm. When one eats, we get prepared eat. Mm. You go throw food for ground. You go throw food for up. Wow. Catch up. Press up. Roll up. Roll up. They come more down. Do like this. Uh, ah. <laughs> Keep on soup. That's a culture we should sell to these people. But rather, you keep on the young how. What is that mala? You carry it because you're not mala. How? When you both come my village, when you both come my village, when you both, when you both cry, say she won't go farm. When you both come see bush, you won't see bush before. When you both follow my path, go farm. Me, I know that I know like farm. I know like farm. We will see my given land for a village. She won't fill out. The only thing is that I don't mind that thing. I don't mind doing it. Because I want to assure us plenty inside. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. So, what we're trying to say is that there's so much that we have. Look at the program called Things by the Moonlight. How many of you know that program? Beautiful program. What is it today? Those are stories. Those are, those are very deep stories. Now, we are here now. I mentioned discovery, right? Yes. I mentioned marketability. And marketability. And is that marketability part? That's where Atunda Entertainment now comes to play. As an upcoming performer or artist, the least thing on your mind should be how much you make. Mm. What you should be more concerned about is platform. Mm. Ah, mm. platform is more than the money. My brother, we we'll once you have a platform to showcase your talent, become a millionaire. Mm. It's just like lighting a candle and you carry and put under this place. Who wants here? But a platform is something that will raise you up. The whole world will see you and they will begin to beckon on you. Why do you think when Jesus Christ wanted to preach those days, go climb out? Yes, sure. Some people will see him. Some of us have, we have, we have talent, we have skills, but we don't have where to put it. Your platform is YouTube. Your platform is Facebook. They come on Facebook now. You can never, never put your work on Facebook or, and you want to blow. <laughs> you cannot make it. So for whatever reason, you're in this place, after this training program, you say, okay, this is what I want to do. Come up with a good story, a good script. So okay, um, Atunda, I have been able to come up with a short story about my place, where I come from. We can look at play this, you play this. We all come up together. If you go to my YouTube channel, I did a, 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 a story called How to Shoot a No Budget. Budget Movie. Please go and watch that video. How to Shoot a No Budget Movie. It will give you a clearer picture and understanding that you actually don't need money to shoot your first film. When somebody wants to give you a movie job today, sir, they will not ask you to bring your certificate. The question they will ask you, what have you done before? Even as a script writer, if you carry a script and give to somebody who, who's going to sponsor your work, you're not taking you serious. Ah, sir, I wrote this movie. We've shot it. They will not 
don't ask you what kind of power did you even use. It's very inconsequential. Oh, you do this? Say, yes, sir. I think I like the picture. Say, thank you, sir. What kind of power did you even use? That's like, actually my phone. What? You used your phone to do this? How much did you spend? Uh, sir, it's actually a no-budget film. Mm. Kidding me. Okay, so which means if I give you like 50K now, can do something better, if you can do without, mm -hmm. can do something better than this. Say yes, sir. <coughs> and he gives you 50k. And you don't remember saying so you need to go marry. Mm -hmm. Because some of us guys there, uh, how many people just enter the bank? Hey! Baby! Don't show, 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 show. Hey! Why don't you be looking yourself? Give you like 10k flex. They take like 40k straight there. Uh, you come up with the work, and the person sees it and be like, wow. I'm speaking as a historian and as an evil man. Mm -hmm. What is Nollywood doing about the misrepresentation of evil history? Mm -hmm. I, ha I have a friend who told me, he's a foreigner, and he told me, I learned that if you come to Ibu land, everybody is a Juju man. <laughs> the way Nollywood portray Ibu culture is entirely unfamiliar to me as an Igbo man and to the Igbo society. Let me take for an instance, this culture of the king, Gonyeze, throwing flowers and the princess, that kind of oligarchy system of government, I don't know whether I'm right or that, that kind of oligarchy system of government, is not known. We have a popular cliche in Igbo society, so Igbo and Gonyeze, Igbos don't have king. And Igbo society, if someone made mention of uh, China, the best things fall apart, is, is, is a, a pure representation of the Igbo society. We don't have a king. But in Nollywood telling us about one king who sits on a throne and pontificates, we don't have that kind of a system. How do we change that sort of narrative? Right, thank change. you very much. That narrative, you, you are sick and tired of what they are doing. God, we want people to come in. God are the days. Part of why Nollywood was the way it was is that the guys who were intellectuals left it for the business people, those people are there to make money. <coughs> Why would a Yoruba man come and tell your Igbo story better than you yourself? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to do that. How many of you know a, a director called Ugezwe, uh, G. Ugezwe? Yeah. Ugezwe is one of the highest, yeah. he has the highest number of films on African Magic Epic. Ugezwe does only traditional films. He's my very close friend. He tries to say this thing that you're saying right now. But Ugezwe, out of how many directors that we have in Nigeria, he cannot bring that change. So what you should do is, if you're a writer in your articles, write stories like that. Come up with reviews. Come up with discussions. Make up your mind. Pick up any movie. Tear it apart. Tell them what you don't like in this movie and send it out there. Nobody might want to look at it now, but with consistency. Yeah. You write on this week. That and next week, man, who be this guy? Girls will begin to sit and discuss your matter. There's this young man who is attacking us that we are not uh, portraying the egos very well. But not true now. Another person will pick up that fight before you do it. Change. Revolution will begin. Revolution is not the worst one of you know. It's a gradual process. It's when one person thinks about it. The fact that you thought about it, it might not happen in your own time. Or your own children's time. So my brother, you are thinking the way you think. Uh, maybe we uh, they need to do well. So who want to well? Mm. Not, a typical knowledgeable person wants to make money. Mm. And Nigeria, the one we did, now that flower, they won't watch. You know, concerned them what's in your history, don't. Well, I know you are there of you. What are you <laughs> I want to make money, so they will tell the story that will. What do you think that there are some actors that we can pay as much as two million naira? For just an actor. Because they want to get money, return investment. Because no matter how you look at it, last class, we need to make money. Mm -hmm. So now come and come tell Igbo culture, Igbo, uh, the king, they behave like this, they behave like this, for who's pocket? The Nego. Do you understand? So we, as the watchdogs, we who really want to see this change, let's all get it. That's why we are here. The Africa we want. What kind of Africa do you want in the next five years? Where the Igbo king is represented properly. You cannot do it sitting in your house. You need to get involved. You now know me as a director. 
a season one, I need to make mouth. Yes, Give me a good script, a director, what do you think? I can make Mr. Kenny here. I say, Baba, that our boy for that program. See story when Brigo, how big they go tell their own story very well. Mm. Mr. Kenny times, okay, Mo go meet this ambassador. Then go give us funds. That kind of money now, we cannot shoot the movie they won't want to shoot it. Mm. But I cannot go and borrow three million naira to do a movie. When you can tell your story for you, man, make you a media. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're understanding me. We need to tell ourselves nothing <laughs> for the truth. <laughs> we need to all get involved. Nigeria can be better, but we all must be involved. Your ability to summarize a full story to me in two minutes. Just they call it pitching, they call it log line. Now, you meet me now, and you give me a log line. Say, sir, I have this story. Just one sentence, two sentences. If it clicks, let me go tell you, say, can I see the synopsis? Can I see the treatment? If I not again, collecting your script is the last thing on me in my mind, because I don't even get time to read that. And I talk to you right now, I'm editing a script I'm supposed to shoot next month in Lagos here. So, but if you give me a log line now that's interesting, it will motivate me to, to look at it. When I look at it, I can know who can want to fund it. Now, just as we said before, we are a family now, meaning that we can activate ourselves, activate the things that we are doing. You give me a story, it's easier for me now to tell them that, CEO, one of our guys will come that program. Now you get this story, and we need to do it. And, I'm, and well, we are going to do a movie before all of you go back. We are going to do a movie. So I want, I want to.